northeast of the Caribbean Sea will shift eastward and weaken diminishing winds and seas modestly this week. Trade winds, trade winds will increase basin-wide, it says Wednesday night through Friday, as high pressure builds in the western Atlantic. Offshore waters, windward islands, including Trinidad, Tobago, and of course, Grenada. Bring 10 to 15 all week. 10 to 15. Seas 2 to 4 feet, scattered showers, and isolated thunderstorms Monday and Tuesday. And uh, seas 2 to 4 feet. Well, good morning, guys. Um... It's Monday near the end of August. I haven't done much lately and the amazing news is that I have not passed out at all for two days. But in the heat I don't move and I basically lay around all day and do nothing so no wonder I'd never pass out. I don't know if you guys can see but last week I did my nails and they're very pretty. Um, just because sometimes a girl needs to remember that she is a girl and stop feeling like a soggy sea rat. If you go check out the blog, I'm going to talk more about sort of the loneliness and isolation of being a solo girl on a boat. You guys know that due to the tropical heat, I don't tend to wear any clothing when I'm home alone. I wonder if my new sensors, my boob sensors, are sufficient for YouTube or not. Is this acceptable or not acceptable social behavior? I don't know. To be honest, I don't really care anymore because I've gone feral. The weather outside is beautiful today, so I've decided that I'm going to go snorkeling off the reef over there off the starboard side. I have not passed out for two days. The weather is lovely and I've decided to go snorkeling. I'm going to bring a GoPro camera along with me and take you guys swimming with me today in Grenada. We are in Woburn Bay in southern Grenada and the lovely conditions. Beautiful sunny skies and it is hot as always. I've done nothing for several days and I've decided it's time to get some exercise. Look at this cumulonimbus monster developing in front of us. Maybe we'll let this pass first. Sunshine one minute, rain the next. And 10 minutes later, you can see I'm anchored in the middle of Hog Island and sort of guarding the entrance is this really big looking reef here. There's another one over in Calvany Cut that I can explore, but I've decided I wanted to do the deeper reef first. So we're going to go out towards Calvany Island. This is Calvany Island. You can see this is Wild Child anchored up here. We're going to take the dinghy, go down here, drop a hook, and we're going to go snorkeling around this reef over here. Okie dokie, dinghy's launched. Now I just have to tear the, my uh, bikini off, switch to my marshmallow suit, and let's go diving. That way. Let's go exploring today. Teddy Bear does not get to come diving with me and since I live alone, I always end up snorkeling and diving alone. With my heart condition and my sudden fainting spells, snorkeling alone is a little bit risky, so I always wear my marshmallow suit so at least I'm positively buoyant. If I feel my heart start fibrillating and going a little funny like a fainting spell is going to come, I just relax, float on the surface, tuck in my arms and legs and hold my snorkel. With 
my acquired wisdom of two is one and one is none, I always throw the stern anchor off the back and the grapnel hook off the front. Two anchors to hold my dinghy so it's still there when I want to come back to it. I also always swim with my spear. Not really that I'm a very good spear fisher girl, but it's more like a walking stick underwater and my shark poker aware. Look at this amazing coral formation. It's like a mushroom bush or something underwater. I've never seen anything like this before. It's so unique. The variety of different coral formations is awesome and the fish diversity is splendid. This is just a fantastic reef to dive. These spiky guys are everywhere and it's why it would be foolish to go swimming in the ocean barefoot. Does anybody have any idea what these little puff balls are? Do you see it? Do you see it? Look, 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 look! There he is! What a cute little guy! about an hour out on the reef exploring by myself and it really was a pleasant afternoon. Usually about an hour of diving is enough for me and then I start to get puckered and I want to go home. Well, that was a lovely day, wasn't it? My tropical life would be almost perfect if only I had someone to share it with.